Okay, we're doing four mean smoothing. This is probably going to be the the most complicated looking one, but it's basically just uh, two mean expanded to four numbers. So you should be able to see a pattern developing. So we want to do four. So four is centered here. That's our loop of four. And that centers right on the line here, which doesn't correspond to a value here, which is a problem. And then we might want to do the next moving four, which is these four. And that is centered on the line again. So that's centered there. And that's missing a value here. So what we have to do is take the red and the green values and average them again to recenter us so that we're centered on the three. Um, and you can see like just uh, like the two mean smoothing was like three mean smoothing that you lost one piece of data. So four mean smoothing is like five mean smoothing and you're going to lose a data point here and here. So if you lose two at the beginning, you're going to lose two at the end. All right. But uh, the formula is just going to be slightly longer. So imagine we've got the five numbers that are in here. We've got A, B, C, D, E. So in this case, um, Let's just move that E a little bit further along. E. So A is 5, B is 2, C is 5, D is 3, and E is 1. Okay. So the red loop is uh, A plus B plus C plus D divided by 4. The green loop is B plus C plus D plus E divided by 4. And then the blue step, the third step, is we have to add those together and divide by four. Uh, sorry, divide by two, actually, sorry. And so if you look at that, you can see last time we repeated the B twice because it was in both loops. It was in the red loop and the green loop, but this time B and C and D are repeated. Look, we can show that there. So there's a B, uh, oh, sorry, that was a wrong thing to do. Uh, that was the B. There's the B, the C, and the D, uh, and there's the B, the C, and the D again. So we've got two lots of B, two lots of C, and two lots of D, because B and C and D, the middle values, are inside both loops. So we're just going to combine all of that, all of that, that's quite a lot, isn't it? All of that into one formula, which is A plus 2B plus 2C plus 2D plus E, all divided by, well, we've got eight numbers now. Yeah, because we've got four plus four, that's eight numbers. So that's what we're going to be relying on every time we do this. So let me just erase all this stuff here and then just show how all, all that uh, works. Oh, it takes a bit of time that. All right, back with the pin. So this is our A, B, C, D, E. And so we're going to say uh, this is our group of five and it's centered now easily on the fifth number. We're just going to remember to double the, the sum of these numbers. So it's five plus two times two plus two times five plus two times three plus one. That's the formula. So it's five plus four plus ten plus six plus one. So if you add all that up and you divide by eight, you get about three and a quarter. I'm going to call that three. Then we repeat the whole process again, don't we? So we're going to move our A, B, C, D across. And let's do it in green. So now it's uh, A, B, C, D, E. These are the, the five numbers we're looking at. And we're centered here. Uh, <laughs> this does get messy. Uh, let's try and remove some of it. Let's just remove some of this red and again go back to our green. So it's 2 plus 2 times 5 plus 2 times 3 plus 2 times 1 plus 0. Add all that up and then divide by 8. You get about 2.5. Call that 3. All right, let's do that all again. Let's just do some deleting because it makes everything nice and pretty. Let's do the blue loop. So the blue loop, again, is the five numbers. It is centered here. And it's five plus two times three plus two times one plus two times zero plus two. 
add them all up, divide that by eight, because that's your A, B, C, D, E, because it's always moving a long one, and you get about uh, two. And if you keep repeating this process, uh, you'll probably go a bit crazy, to be honest. Uh, let's put my arrow back there and make it all pretty. And then uh, let's choose purple. So our next ones are going to be uh, A, B, C, D, E. That's my loop. That's where I'm centered. So it's A plus 2 times 1 plus 2 times 0 plus 2 times 2 plus 3. Add them all up. Divide by 8. You're going to get 1.5 rounds to 2. You can see why uh, spreadsheets, as soon as your data gets a, even slightly bigger and these formulas get huge, it's just a nightmare. Uh, let's go orange. And so we're going to go uh, A, B, C, D, E. This is our last one. There's our loop. We're centered here. And it's 1 plus 2 times 0, because it's 2 times B, plus 2 times C, which is 2, plus 2 times D, which is 3, plus 1 lot of E. Divide that all by 8, you get 1.5 again, it is 2. And then you can plot all the things. Notice again, we lost 2 data points, so 4, like 5, loses 2 either end. But you can see using the uh, formula, probably not highlighting it in red, highlight it in yellow, uh, you, if you uh, use that formula, we get, you're going to be fine and we'll not get confused. All right. So the blue one is the 2 and the green one is the 4. And again, you can see we've got shorter and flatter. Now, before you start thinking stuff 4 means smoothing, it's too damn complicated. It is a very common one to come up on exams because you have four seasons or four quarters in a year. And it's very common in financials to talk about uh, quarters. So uh, you're not going to uh, be able to run away and hide from this thing. It is a real thing and it's going to happen to you. So just to remind ourselves, this is X, this is Y, this is my 3, this is my 5. Uh, I did the 2 here, and now we're going to do 4 here. I deleted the 7. So just like the 5, we lose 2 at the beginning and uh, 2 at the end. So we're going to start in, in cell here. Uh, that's F3. You can see it says F3 here. Press your equals button. Now uh, do a little bracket. And then click, just click B1, and that will come up with a B1. You don't have to type B1. Just click the cell B1, and you'll get your B1. So remember our formula, uh, and you'll see it all developing. Now we want two lots of B2. Again, don't get confused. The, the, the thing will change it later, but on a keyboard, uh, the star symbol, which is Shift-8, is multiply. That means multiply the, stars, the star sign. Uh, it will fix it later. So we've done... B1 plus, uh, plus 2B2 plus 2B3. Now it's plus 2B4. So you do 2 and then the times and then tap your B4 to get your B4. And so there we go. We've got the numerator of our fraction. Remember what our formula was A plus 2B plus 2C plus 2D plus E all over 8. So that's what we've done here. There's our A and there's our plus 2b and there's our plus 2c and there's our plus 2d and there's our plus e and don't forget to close off with the brackets we want to brackets that so we don't uh, just divide by the end e by 8. Uh, fractions are division so don't try and look for a fr fancy fraction button just hit the division button and it normally comes up looking like a slash so just the divide button on your calculator 8 and that'll do it because fractions are division so there we go so hopefully now you've got a lovely 3.25 in there select your range to fill so we're doing f3 to f7 why because we don't want those two at the beginning and we don't want those two at the end because so you edit fill fill range if you've clicked the right cell to start with which was uh, if you remember f3 you should have that formula the formula just keeps going but it doesn't fit in we want the range f3 to f7 press ok and look i mean this is taking longer to explain than it actually is to, to do uh, but get the hang of this stuff because it's really useful it's excel skills in a very clunky way 
Um, so something you will hopefully uh, have a job where uh, you use Excel in the future. We're going to select our range, uh, which is B1 to F9, because we're going to graph them all. So it's graph, line, clustered. And now we've got uh, quite a few plotted here. So let's uh, just look at which ones we've got. So the raw data is is blue. So that's the raw data, uh, unsmoothed. That's why it's raw. Uh, then I think we've got the uh, red, this red one is this one, which is, if I remember right, was three uh, smoothing. Then uh, we've got the pinkish line, which I'm doing with purple, magenta line. That's actually the two mean smoothing. And then you've got the green line, which is the five mean smoothing. That's the five. And then I think that, I think that's black actually. Uh, black is our four. That's the four mean smoothing. And you can just see like uh, the five and the four are the same length, but five is smoother. Um, now again, re remind you, four seasons in a year, four quarters in a year. So four mean smoothing is probably one of the most common kinds of smoothing um, that there is. So uh, that's why you'd smooth. You want to get year data for the year and just get a yearly trend. If you want to see the yearly trend, you've got to get rid of the quarterly uh, wobbles. And that's why you should really get a hang of this quarterly uh, form moving mean uh, smoothing.